Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. We have a few more days of the February Pantry Challenge to go, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. So in my freezer, I had these two packages of hamburger patties that I got half price, so they were $5 each at Tom Thumb. So this one had four patties, and it is garlic peppercorn rub. And then this one also had four patties, brisket beef patties with bacon and barbecue rub. So Howard grilled them for us. So this one is the, um, the bacon barbecue, and then this one is the garlic and peppercorn. So I am having the garlic peppercorn. I'm having some cheese puffs with it. The cheese puffs are from HEB. And then Howard has one of each burger, no cheese puffs for him. He has some cheese and avocado on there. I forgot to mention Howard grilled my bun. I like my bun grilled. He threw it out on the grill and he did not grill his buns. He doesn't care for it. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is potato, green bean, and bacon soup. This is what it looks like. It only calls for a few simple ingredients and I have everything except an onion. So I'm gonna be using some onion powder. Didn't even realize I didn't have onion, but um, here is my bacon, my potatoes. It calls for four. I'm gonna use three, that's what I have. And then here are my fresh cream beans. So I'm gonna start getting everything all prepped and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay y'all, so I cooked up my bacon, steamed my green beans, added them in there. I didn't have any yellow onion as I mentioned, but then I remembered I had some green onion, so I used that instead and that is in there. Whoops. What I'm doing now is adding in those potatoes that I cooked and it said to slightly mash. So that's what I did. I'm just adding them to the pot now. And next I'm gonna add in some milk. And some heavy cream. I haven't added any seasoning, no salt or anything at this point. I wanna taste everything first. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir and then let it come to a simmer. So here is the soup. It is actually very good. I did end up adding salt and pepper to it, but I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. All right, y'all, so the pantry challenge is officially over, but I'm still eating for my pantry, trying to use up what we have. So we are having this um, Spaghetti Classics from Kraft. I fell in love with this a few months ago. I had a what's for dinner, and I uh, tried out different grocery store dinner kits, and this kit was one of them, and I fell in love, so I stocked up on it. Um, so we're having this. Uh, for dinner tonight. It comes with the pasta. The only thing you have to add is um, meat, which is optional, and tomato paste. So we're having that. I'm serving it with a side salad, and this is a side salad. Side salad. It is from um, Aldi, and it's the Caesar salad kit. And then I'm serving a Kaiser roll on the side. I picked these up on clearance from Walmart, and all I did was split it in half, added some butter, and toasted it. Normally, I would add garlic, but I just didn't feel like going through all that trouble. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I'm making biscuits and gravy for dinner today. In my skillet, I've got one pound of hot Jimmy Dean sausage, and to that, I'm adding two tablespoons of just some regular all-purpose flour, giving it a good stir, and I'm going to let this flour cook down or cook out for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. You can see that sausage has started to turn kind of dark brown. That's from that flour. I've been cooking it on a medium heat. Now I am adding three cups of half and half. Now you could also add milk, 
um, but half and half makes it richer. So I'm just pouring in that half and half. And at this point, you can go ahead and season um, how you'd like to. I am just using a little bit of black pepper. I'm not adding in any additional salt because we try to watch, watch our salt intake. I'm just gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna turn the burner down and I'm gonna let this simmer until it thickens up. Okay, so this has been simmering for about seven minutes. This is the texture that I'm looking for. It does still look, look a little bit loose, but as soon as I take it off the burner, it's gonna start thickening up for me. Um, also, I wanted to mention the reason mine kinda has that reddish, orangish um, hue is because I did use spicy sausage, so it has those red pepper flakes in there. So if you use just regular sausage, yours isn't gonna have this tint to it. Um, but anyway, let me get everything all plated up and I'll show you the final results. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up, serving it over some frozen biscuits. As you can see, biscuits and gravy are super easy to make. Years ago on our channel, I recorded a video on biscuits and gravy, but it's been so long ago, I just decided to include it in our dinner video this time. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So quick and easy dinner tonight. We are eating this pizza that I picked up from Sam's a long time ago. And you get two in a box. I didn't really care for them. Howard said they're okay, but we're just trying to finish what we've got in the freezer. So um, as you can see, it's pretty small. If it fits on a dinner plate, if that gives you any indication of how small this pizza is, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, but anyway, this is what we are, and this is from Sam's if I didn't mention that, but this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.